Hi, I'm Brad from Genii. Welcome to this introduction to some of the fantastic features of the Sony Ericsson J108 Cedar. I'll guide you through setting up some of the basics and show you how to personalise your device so you're up and running on your Sony Ericsson journey. To begin, let's look at some of the quick keys available to you. To call your voicemail, press and hold the one key. To quickly select silent mode, for times when a ringtone is inappropriate, press and hold the hash key. Repeat the process to reactivate your ringtones. A quick press of the green dial key will show your calling history, including missed calls, called numbers, and calls you have received. Below the green dial key is the quick shortcut key. Here, you can access applications you use most often. You can add applications to this menu by scrolling down to New Shortcut and clicking Add. Scroll to the application you want to add. Here, we will add a calculator. When you reach the application, click the left soft key. You will see the new shortcut is now in the menu. You can also personalize the home screen of the device using widgets and additional shortcuts. Again, this will help you quickly navigate to the functions you use most. From the home screen, the four-way navigation key gives you access to four more shortcuts. If you press up, you'll be taken to a widget menu. You can add these widgets to the home screen by highlighting and selecting show. You can select multiple widgets to show and then click back. You'll see your widgets are now on the home screen and can be reached by scrolling left or right. To remove the widgets, highlight and click manage on the left soft key, then click hide. Scrolling down off the widgets, you can now also place shortcuts on the remaining three navigation keys. You'll see if you click left, you will open up messaging. If you click right, you will open up the media files. And if you click down, you'll open the call log. Again, you can personalize these shortcuts to access things you use most often by using the following steps. Open the main menu and select settings. Select general, then shortcuts. Here you can change the shortcut on each key. As you can access your call history from the green dial key, we'll put a different shortcut on the down key. Highlight the down shortcut and click edit. Scroll to the application we want to create the shortcut for. Here we will create a shortcut to our email inbox. Go into messaging, email, and highlight inbox and click the left soft key. Press the red key to go back to the home screen and you'll see if you now press the down key, you'll be taken to our new shortcut, the email inbox. You can, of course, personalize the shortcuts to do more of what you want. Now let's look at setting up Bluetooth on the J108. These days, hands-free calling is a must in cars, making Bluetooth an important function of your device. It also lets you connect to other Bluetooth capable devices to play music or share files. To set up Bluetooth on the J108, follow these easy steps. Open the shortcut menu using the key under the green dial key and select Bluetooth. Click Bluetooth to turn on, select add device. Your phone will now search for other Bluetooth devices. Highlight the device you want to connect to and select. Enter the passcode. This is usually 1234 or 0000, or you may be asked to match codes with the other device. Once the device is added to the list, highlight and click Options. Select Allow Connection, and if this is a device you connect to often, select Always Allow. You'll now be able to connect with the device as and when you need. Please note, Bluetooth is a feature that uses battery power, so it should be turned off when not in use. The following instructions will enable you to set up Exchange Sync, which will allow you to synchronize your Sony Ericsson J108 with your Outlook email, contacts, and calendar. Open the main menu and select Settings. Select Connectivity and Synchronization. Scroll to New Account and click Add. Click on Exchange Active Sync. 
enter the name of this email account. You'll now need to enter the details of your work email account, including server address, domain, username, and password. If you're unsure of these details, your IT support team should be able to give them to you. Scroll right across the tabs at the top and select the details you wish to sync. Scroll right again and scroll down to email address. Enter your email address and choose how far back to sync emails. Scroll right again and select how far back you would like the calendar to sync. Scroll right again to email settings. Here you can choose to activate push email which will have your phone receiving updates continually or you can choose the interval you would like your phone to search for new emails. Once all details are entered, click save. If you already have data on your phone, choose whether you want to keep or replace it. Now highlight the account and click start. The synchronisation will begin and you'll be up and running with email on your device. Well, that's a quick look at some of the key functions of this device. You're now on your way to discovering even more on your Sony Ericsson J108. And remember, the more you practice, the easier it will become.